Hey guys, I am back after a long time from being away from YouTube. I've been wanting to come back for a while now, but I just never have. I've been doing project pans off camera and I've been fairly enjoying them, but this one project pan that has started, I, I wanted to join in and I do want to get back on YouTube and film my updates for this project pan and also more project pans to come. Um, so the project pan that I am starting today is the Throwback 30. It is a Pantastic Ladies collab project pan. And basically what it is, is they chose 30 items from 30 different project um, pan prompts. So that's what I am going to be doing. The first prompt is 12 Days of Christmas and you have to choose one item linked to a gift in the song. I chose my Too Faced Enchanted Wonderland Swan palette. And this right here is like for the seven days, no, the seven swans of swimming. Um, also the shade that I chose is Turtle Doves. So for two Turtle Doves, so it's two and one. And I do want to hit pan in that shade. The next prompt is 50 Shades of Panning. And it's one item based on the movie Fifty Shades of Grey or is sex themed. And I chose my Makeup Forever. This was um, a collab with Fifty Shades of Grey and this is like the trio that they came out with. And I want to use this 30 times. I'm using the Throwback 30. So 30 times for that. Okay, next is Fifty Shades of Pink and it is a product that is pink half pink in the name or has pink packaging. And I chose the Milani Lip Liner in Pretty Pink. It's almost done. I've had this thing for years and years and years and pink is not one of my favorite colors that I like to wear. So this probably will take me a while to use just because I don't wear it often at all. Like I'll probably go a year without wearing pink. But anyways, it's only just this much, but I do want to use all that up. So, yeah. Next prompt, and I do have like a paper with all my information on it. If you see me look down, that's what, that's why. So my fourth um, prompt is Seven Deadly Sins. And this is based on a name, color, anything that works. And I chose Envy. And the thing that I'm choosing for Envy is my sultry lipstick from ColourPop. And that's how much, and I wanna use this up. Not much. Again, I've had this for years. Um, I don't even think they sell this shade anymore because the last time I tried looking for it because it was my holy grail for a while, a long time ago. And when I tried to look for this lipstick, they no longer had it. So yeah, I do want to finish that up. Next is Around the World. And it's something that um, is color of a flag or that is made in product. And I chose made in, and this one I'm choosing is made in Germany. And it is my Sephora eyeliner in my boyfriend's jeans. Haven't used it yet. So it's brand new. And I want to use this up. Next prompt is beauty A to Z, a item from a letter of the alphabet. I chose B and right here. This is the Bare Necessities Highlighting Pencil. Want to use it up. Also very old. <laughs> um, yeah, it's more pink than I would like, but it's okay. I'll just use it up. Um, yeah, use it up. Next is Birthstone Beauty, and I choose a product from a birthstone of a month. Can be packaging, color, or name. And I'm going with my Lorac Pro and I'm going in with Garnet. And that is this one right here. This is one of two of my oldest palettes that I have in my collection. So eventually I do want to use this up. I'm starting to, I'm starting with hitting pan in all these shades, but I do eventually want to use it up. So yes, Garnet is right here. And I just want to hit pan for right now. 
Next is Budget Beauty and it is a budget friendly drugstore product. And I have the Maybelline Touch of Spice. Again, this was one of my um, holy grails back a couple years ago and I want to finish this up. And that's how much I have left of that. I have a lot of lip products in this project pan and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use all of them up. <laughs> um, next is Cupid's Bow and I am that reminds you of Valentine's Day or love. And I chose this Bite Beauty Lip Pencil, whatever this is, and Bouquet. And it is pink, if I can get the lid off, which is gonna be hard to uh, use up, but I'm gonna try. And there's quite a bit of this, like, cause this is practically new. Not new, but I haven't used it very much. So yeah, I want to use this up. On to drop 10 before summer, summer themed, not just makeup. I chose this Marcel eyeliner in Mulberry. And I wanna use this thing up as well. Fall For You is a product that you love and I fell in love with this. I found this at Marshall's not that long ago and I used it, loved it. So I don't wanna use this up. I just want to use this 30 times. This is the Urban Decay, the Velvetizer. So 30 uses for that. Food for Thought is a food themed product, product that have a food name, smells like food, or are in food packaging. I chose the Stila Lip Glaze in Apricot. I do want to use that up. There's not much in there. Should be easy or fairly easy. Next is Harry Potter based off Quidditch or your favorite house. I chose Quidditch and it is the golden snitch that I chose. I'm going back into the Lorac palette and I'm choosing gold because golden snitch. So yeah, I do want to hit pan in that one right there. In the panning zone, this is a product from a prompt of an episode of the first season of The Twilight Zone. I've never watched The Twilight Zone. Um, don't know what it's about, but I chose Time Enough at Last. And this is a step in your makeup, skincare, body care, hair care routine you wish you always had time to do or were doing better doing. And I chose this Sunday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I've only used this thing once. Um, I don't do masks often, but this mask right here, you have to apply after moisturizer and leave on overnight, which is something I probably won't do. I'll just probably use it as a mask just because this never does dry down and uh, I'm not gonna sleep with it. So yeah, I do want to finish all this up. Like I said, practically brand new. I've only used this once and I guess I can show you what it looks like inside. <laughs> yeah, like brand new. Now my fingers are dirty. Lovely. All right. Let me get my paperwork out. Lip service. Any lip product I chose. Then this is disgusting. I'm warning you now. This is the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in Glace. The packaging is like sticky now. And I don't know why, because I keep my products well uh, pat like put away and stuff. So I don't know why it's sticking on unless you're just getting old and it's just nasty. So I do want to use this up. Um, it's not much at all. It was one of my favorites whenever I first got it. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's just like a mini size. I think they did round for the holidays one year, a long time ago. So I want to use that up. Mean girl quotes, choose a quote from the movie. And I chose, she doesn't even go here. And it's something that doesn't belong in your collection, borrowed from a friend or needs to be decluttered. This definitely needs to be decluttered. I just don't have the heart to declutter it because it's very, very old. It is the Estee Lauder Deluxe All Over Face Compact. This thing, no lie, is like almost 10 years old. 
So this is what it looks like. I want to finish up this little bronzer. It is the bronze goddess right there. So I do want to finish that up. Movie Madness, an item you can link to any movie. I chose Pocahontas. This is a Disney Pocahontas spinning arrow bronzer. I want to hit pan in this. It's probably going to take me a while just because I've used it so much. And there's like, I mean, you can definitely see a dent in the camera. But when I'm looking at it, I don't see that much of a dent. So I do want to hit pan in this thing. Nightmare Before Christmas, an item that reminds you of Christmas or Halloween. Of course, I choose Christmas because Christmas is my favorite holiday. And I chose the Winter Candy Apple Bath & Body Works Body Cream. I want to use this up. It's going to take me a long time to use this up because it's practically brand new. I think I'm like right here. So I had a, I had it in a project of mine that I was doing. It was like um, the deck of panning. So you have to use it. I used it 10 times. So yeah, that's, that's, that's all I've used it. I don't think it was 10 times. So I'm choosing that. Once Upon a Pan. Based on Once Upon a Time TV series, take any product and link it to them i totally screwed up on that let me read let me reread that it's based on a once upon a time tv series take any product and link them to a character again i've never watched once upon a time i chose snow white slash mary margaret the, te the teacher it's a white or blood red product and i chose my let me get it maybelline divine wine again another product that was a favorite of mine Years ago, I do want to finish this up. Panning games. Pick a product from one of the 24 tributes. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I also saw people like put products in a bag and randomly choose it, but I'm choosing, you know, one of the tributes, I think. Yeah. It's like it was, well, oh, let me, it was from the tributes, but they did it. They picked 24 products and then they chose one, but I just chose one and I chose District 1, which is luxury. And this was my very first high end face palette. And I just want to use this 30 times. And that's what this looks like. So what I mean by 30 times, I don't mean by like if I use the bronzer and then the blush, I'm not going to count that as two. If I like use the bronzer and blush and then this under eye powder I'll count that as one use for that one time oops and I want to do that 30 different times all right next is panning solitary pan and eyeshadow single duo trio quad etc I chose a single just because <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do I do have a lot of uh, eyeshadows that I'm working on and I chose the color pop super shop shadow and get lucky and that's what that looks like. I just want to hit pan in it. And I don't mean by like just moving product and hitting pan. I want to make sure that I'm evening it out and make that pan. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to plan on doing with this one. Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. A beauty product that reminds you of a Christmas song. Now, this product that I chose, it is the Too Faced Enchanted Wonderland Raccoon Palette. There's a few in here that I can use for a song like Let It Snow, uh, Sleigh Bells, Fa La La, and Deck the Halls. But because I already have two golds into this project pan already, I think I'm going to stick with the Fa La La right there. So this one. And I want to hit pan on that. Say good day to a beauty product based on the categories, which are all to do with Australian things and stereotypes. And uh, I chose Aussie, 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 Oi, 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 a product whose outer packaging or product itself is green or yellow slash gold. Oh, I'm reading it like slash gold. It's either green, yellow, and gold. Um... Milani lipstick I chose in Naturally Cheek. <sighs> Want to finish this up. Again, another favorite of mine years ago. 
um, significant other and have your significant other choose a product. My husband chose the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette, brand new, never used. And he wants me to use bold right here, this blue, beautiful blue. So I want to hit pan in that shade. His favorite color is blue. So it's only natural. He wants me to pan a blue eyeshadow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And next is Skin Is In, choose a skincare product. I chose the Honeydew Come Clean and it's an exfoliant and cleanses the skin. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm right here, sorry, so almost brand new. Want to use it up? The Four Seasons, link a product to a season by nature of the season. It can be flowers, weather, etc. I chose spring and I chose the Milani powder blush in Blossom Time Rose. It's, it was new. Yeah, it was new. I had to open it, but that's what it looks like. I want to only use this 30 times. So there's that goal. Turn and burn. Use up a gimme product. This is definitely a gimme product, but it may not start getting use until later on just because I am painting another product that needs to go first. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It used to be one of my favorites, but I haven't used this in a long time. But I do only have like that much left, not much at all. So I'll be able to use this up very easily, but like I said, I have another foundation that I want to work through before I do use this. Um, Unicorn Project Pan. Choose a product that is one of a kind or magical. It could be iridescent, duo, multi-chrome, glittery, or just colorful. And I chose the, the Too Faced Life's A Festival palette. And I chose Unicorn Tears right here. I do want to hit pan in this as well. Winnie the Pan, choose a product related to a prompt from Winnie the Pooh. I chose Honey, and this is the Pharmacy Honey Grail Face Oil. I like the product, I don't like the smell. I, I don't like the smell of honey, so, I don't, but I do like the product. But anyways, I am right here. I do want to use all of that up. And the last thing, is Wizard of Panning, a item that links to a category from the Wizard of Oz. I chose Emerald City, which is something green, and I chose the Pharmacy Daily Greens Moisturizer. I want to, to use this up, and this is fairly full. I mean, it's like right there, just under that little lip right there. So it's gonna take a while, but I do want to use this up. And that is all 30 of my products. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry about the lighting, no makeup, and starting it late, but I will try to do better next time. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thank you guys. Bye.